Hello everyone, welcome back. In this presentation, we will see about steganography. As usual, let's see the outcomes first. Upon the completion of this session, the learner will be able to Outcome number 1, we will understand the basics of steganography. Outcome number 2, we will know the disadvantages of steganography. And outcome number 3, we will understand the difference between cryptography and steganography. Let's dive into the topic of the day, steganography. Actually, in steganography, we are not going to do encryption, rather, we are going to conceal the existence of the message. That means, we are going to hide the existence of message in other forms. So, here we are not going to encrypt the message, rather, we are going to hide the message. So, as mentioned, this is definitely not an encryption scheme. It may be any approach, may be a substitution technique or a transposition technique whatsoever, where in steganography, we are not going to do encryption. So, obviously, we are not going to get the cipher text. Rather, we are going to hide the message. We know encryption is a key part of cryptography, where cryptography renders the message unintelligible to the outsiders by various transformations of the text. What do we mean by these various transformations? The encryption algorithms will convert the text, that is the plain text or the message, to an unintelligible message, which is the cipher text. So that if the outsider sees the unintelligible message which is the cipher text, the outsiders will not be able to understand what the message is. So it is very clear that steganography is not cryptography because steganography is not going to do encryption. One simple steganographic technique I will show you now. Just see here, simply encrypt correct reading exactly twice. Actually this example has a steganographic method involved. Can anyone notice this? I request you to pause this video for a while and just see this example and find out is there message which is hidden here. I hope you are done. There is a secret message which is hidden here. Let me show that now. Can you see? Secret is the information which is hidden. S E C R E T. So here the message which is hidden is the first letter of every word is taken and that gives a readable text, which is a secret text or a secret information in this case. You can send your confidential message like this, so that the outsiders will not be knowing about what it is. They will simply see that there is a message, but they may not be aware of that the first letter of every word will constitute the message, which is the hidden information. So, it's clear that there is a hidden message, which is secret here. Actually, steganography has been used historically, there are many techniques which were used. Number one, the character marking. In character marking technique, let's take either a printed text or a typewritten text. Say in this text, the selected letters of either a printed text or a typewritten text are overwritten in pencil. When you overwrite something on pencil, normally these overwritten text will not be visible unless the paper is held at some angle to bright light, isn't it? So, message is hidden on the printed text or a typewritten text, but only the sender and receiver knows at some specific angle only the overwritten text will be visible to bright light. Let's see the second one which is the invisible ink. We used to do this in our home also, right? Some chemicals or natural substances can be used for writing text or the information which is the secret information. Then this technique will leave no traces of the written text until some heat or some chemical is applied to the paper. So, this is invisible ink steganographic technique. Let's see the third technique which is the pin punctures. Normally, small pin punctures on selected letters are not visible. The text will be visible only when the paper is held up in front of a light. So, this is pin puncture technique. Let's see the fourth steganographic technique which is the typewriter color ribbon. Let's say there is a typed material and normally there will be some spaces between the lines, isn't it? Why these spaces will be there between the lines? Just for improving the readability. Normally, this is used between lines typed with a black ribbon and the results of typing with the correction tape are visible only under a strong light. So, this is also a steganographic technique. But if you note here, these are all steganographic techniques that are applied historically. But what about in computer system or network security? So, that should be thought in some way, right? Steganography can be applied to the security aspects of the computers and network as well. Let's see one type of such steganography which is LSB steganography in the next lecture. For time being, please be advised that steganography can be used in computers as well. But this steganography has some drawbacks. Let's see what are they. Number one, 
a lot of overhead is involved in hiding the text because see if it is an encryption scheme where the encryption algorithm will be converting the plain text into cipher text with the help of a key whereas here we are going to hide the information in some form isn't it so that involves a lot of overhead at the same time any system once if it is discovered it becomes virtually worthless it's obvious it's not only with stenography any secure system if the key is discovered or the cipher text is discovered or the concept what is deployed for hiding the information is discovered obviously it becomes worthless right but still we can deploy stenography in a much powerful manner say we can first encrypt the message and then hide the message using stenography so this will be giving better result when compared to either stenography or cryptography so we are combining both cryptography and stenography to provide better security and that's it guys i hope now you understood the basics of stenography we know the disadvantages of stenography and we also have understood the difference between cryptography and stenography is something weird here no yes no which one yes or no i simply used one of the forms of stenography to thank you thank you very much for watching this presentation